Hey everybody, it is Grant Robbins in the garage as always, talking all things construction. Today, I want to expand on something I chatted about. I want to expand on something I talked about last week, meaning additionally insured and how that works on certificates of insurance. Because there's some nuances in there when it comes to who is named, and we're going to build out on that today. So let's dive in. Here's what I'm getting at. There is what is called a named insured on a certificate of insurance. That named insured is the person that is insured, that holds the policy, okay? Think of it this way. You have an auto policy for your car. You are the named insured for that auto policy. In construction, if you're a general contractor and you request insurance from your subcontractor, Plumber XYZ, Plumber XYZ will send you a certificate of insurance and they will be up there in that upper left box as the named insured. They own the policy. Now for clarity, and again, this is what I talked about last week, there is a request by the general contractor to always, and owners and everybody else, but to be named as additionally insured. And this is where it's important to understand. You're named as additionally insured. You're not the named insured. And that's what I'm kind of trying to drill in here. And it's important to understand that as the named additionally insured, there's a couple things here. There's some companies that will still just put you in the description box. That doesn't cut it in the construction industry anymore. So if you're a GC, you need to make sure you're named as additionally insured on an endorsement form it actually modifies the policy because it's important. That's the important part. The difference is the named insured, the sub, has all the coverages of the policy. Your goal as the GC in requesting insurance, the whole reason you do it is so that you're protected by that subcontractor's policy should something happen. And the only way to do that is to become the named additionally insured. And in a sense, the reason they call it a named additionally insured is because you are getting many of the same rights as the named insured. Subtleties, I know, I appreciate you kind of allowing me dig into it a little bit. Hey, in construction, we got so many terms for so many things, it's hard to keep track of them. I'll be the first to admit there's probably a dozen things that I still can't even figure out. So that's the whole point of the named insured versus named additionally insured. Thanks for letting me expand on it. I'll talk to you again soon. Cheers.